Welcome to a Cube Conversation. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and we're here in Silicon Valley with ServiceNow's uh, Matt Schwimmer, VP of Product Strategy. Welcome to this Cube Conversation. Thanks, John. Good Cube to be here. Cube alumni, great to see you uh, uh, from N uh, No13. Great event you guys had. Really, uh, ServiceNow changing the game. You guys are well known in service automation, in IT. Uh, great stuff there. Um, but I got to talk to you about the, the news you guys have. Why are companies turning to service now outside of the IT. Now you're moving outside of IT, where you're certainly well known for automation that, in that platform, but now you're moving outside of IT. Talk about why people are coming to you for that. Yeah, so it, we're not actually moving outside of IT. What we've done is we've empowered the IT organization to service other parts of the business. And you know, IT has learned over the years that there, there are a certain set of processes that y if you look at the organization, it's really, it's a set of people that request things and a set of people that fulfill things. And mm -hmm. IT has built process and discipline around doing just that request fulfill, I need help, I need, uh, I need something, I need, I have a question, can I service myself? They're like very well-defined things that IT has done and now we've empowered IT to be able to expose that for other parts of the business to service their, their customers in the same way. I mean, IT is integrating into all throughout the organizations, and that's right. now the part of the fabric. So I got to talk to you about the application you guys are announcing. You guys are announcing uh, HR service automation. Um, what it, what does this do uh, for HR? I mean, be, talk about the talk about the announcement. What is it? Yeah. So HR service automation is the area where, it, where is what we've announced. It really does HR service delivery, and HR service delivery is something the IT organization has done for for a number of years. Of as as I mentioned before in IT, it's how do I create a one-stop shop interface for my customers, or in this case for HR people, my employees to come in and get whatever information they need from me? You know, historically, HR organizations have been just, you know, incredibly manual, right? People come in, they, at, they send an email to some unknown alias. It's like the black hole vortex of, of doom, right? Now, what we do is we actually provide a very standardized way for HR to be able to get requests, prioritize those requests, address them in a very, uh, a very clear, consistent way, be able to report and govern on those processes, and get information back to customers in a lot faster, or in this case, their employees, in a lot faster manner. And that's what HR service delivery does. So, from, HR a service so from a platform standpoint, that sounds, I mean, so IT, if you look at IT, we all kind of yeah. know IT, you got, you got infrastructure out there, you got requests, you got notifications, you got downtime, similar on HR. So what you're saying is on HR, it's similar kind of framework, right? People make requests. Yeah. <laughs> Notifications need to be made. So is that kind of where you guys see that fitting in? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, like I said, HR people just, they, they take all these requests. All these things exist today. They're just incredibly dysfunctional, right? And there's no way to manage. You have no idea how much time my people are spending on this. So people, but everyone just seems busy. So what you wind up doing is you add more and more HR people to come in and, and try to address and answer these requests. This, this doesn't take the place of things like a work day, right, where you have a single system of record for the HR organization in terms of you have my benefits information in there, right? I've got my payroll, my personnel details. What we do is we provide the service, we provide the service and the assistance, the self-service to help get that information from this HR system of record to be able to provide a self-service interface for the HR people to take that data and service and expose it to their customers. So you add value on top of that, right? So oh, absolutely. Let's talk about this uh, managing services relation. Let's drill down on that because you know, HR, I mean, if you look at IT versus HR, clearly HR is more advanced on the self-service. People you know, are used to going to a website in yeah. the old days and, you know, putting in their employee number and getting in their information, but now they have, they are a consumer, <laughs> they're yeah. expecting self-service, right? So yeah. talk about, drill down this whole, how you guys solve that service relationship for HR. Yeah, so what, what we do, so customers are used to going to a, a portal, right? They go to a portal and they sift through a myriad of information what we do is we give it a, what, what IT has done, I should say first, is IT has a service catalog, typically, of goods and services IT organization uh, delivers. HR wants to deliver the same thing. They want a single interface to be able to deliver that information to. And a lot of times, it makes sense to combine all of these different services into one set, one catalog, a single shopping experience, if you will, for your employees. So you have the HR information living inside the IT information, living aside other parts of the, you know, side by side with other parts of the business that the customer gets to. So we provide this one commingled place for all employees to go to get their information. That's one. And then two, we provide, you know, a very simple search-based interface that I can go and I can find the information I want as opposed to 
hunting through lists and lists of information to say, okay, I want PTO information for France where I'm located, you, you know, in this time of the year, I can search and automatically route you to the right information. So basically it's a service catalog which aligns with the, with the needs of the self-service, yeah. which they're used to, real time, right? Real and time. you have on any platform. So whether the users on mobile or desktop, all that stuff. Yeah, so one of the great things is everything we deliver is built on the service automation platform, and that platform is inherently mobile. So it means everything you build, every interface, every application that's delivered either by us or maybe what the customer builds themselves is immediately available on a mobile device. That includes you know, the HR service automation solution. So you guys are modernizing the HR area, adding value. Um, great announcement here, um, service automation. Talk about the bumper sticker on the car for this announcement. Talk If you had to, to, to summarize this thing, what's the bumper sticker say on, 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 on HR service automation? Oh, the bumper sticker, we, we're, we're bringing sense out of chaos, right? HR service automation really create, I apply, excuse me, HR service automation applies the IT service delivery model to HR. That means, that means it's, it's self-service, it's measurable, it's governable, and uh, it makes your IT, your HR organization much more efficient. We're here with Matt Strimmer, VP of Product Strategy of ServiceNow. Thanks for your time. This is a CUBE conversation in Silicon Valley. Thank you for watching.